This lecture is about the literature of the 20th century, also known as modern literature. The two world wars obviously had a big impact on the literature of the 20th century, and other conflicts like the Vietnam War, apartheid in South Africa, and racial problems in America were also made visible in the literature. Imperialistic powers like France, Portugal, and Britain lost their colonies in Africa, Asia, and Latin America in the beginnings of the 20th century. Emotional and psychological conflicts and relationships are common themes in literature at this time. Women's liberation paved the way for many women writers, and media like film and television influenced many writers to experiment with their literary form. Regular stanzas and rhyme, rhyme schemes seem to lose ground and give room for um, poetic innovations when it comes to poetry. James Joyce is one of the most famous uh, modern Irish writers. He was uh, born in Dublin and he also wrote about Dublin. He depicted his wor in his work Dublin's sordid atmosphere and his many of his famous works are Dubliners, a portrait of the artist as a young man and of course his masterpiece Ulysses. And Ulysses is, is considered to be one of the most original novels of our time. It describes in detail the thoughts and actions of two Irishmen living in Dublin during one single day. Virginia Woolf is, uh, a British, was a British author. Um, she was very experimental in her writing and she wanted to show the inner life of her characters. She was heavily influenced by James Joyce and she used a style of writing called Stream of Consciousness such as James Joyce did in Ulysses, where she describes life moment by moment, focusing more on inner life than on events. And Wolfe's most famous novel is A Room of One's Own, which deals with the situation of women writers. In A Room of One's Own, she said that a woman must have money and a room of her own if she is to write. Other uh, famous novels are uh, To the Lighthouse and Mrs. Dalloway. And Virginia Woolf, um, she filled her pockets with stones and drow drowned herself in Sussex. Um, and you can find an extract from Mrs. Salloway in the folder. Also, there is a feature film about Virginia Woolf with Nicole Kidman as the um, actress, which is called The Hours. George Bernard Shaw uh, was one of the most famous uh, British playwrights. Uh, he started out as a journalist and in music and theater and music and theater critic, and he also wrote political pamphlets. And after a while, he found out that the stage was the right platform for his ideas. And he is most famous for the work Pygmalion, which was later turned into the musical My Fair Lady. T.S. Eliot is considered to be the leader of the modern poets, and this is because he wrote free verse and he neglected rhymes and regular rhythm. And he is most famous for um, the poem The Wasteland, where he talks about the devastation from the Second World War. You can find uh, The Wasteland in your folder. George Orwell is um, the author that is most famous for The Animal Farmer in 1984, and he wrote a lot about injustice. And there is an es extract from the animal farm in your folder that um, you could read. One of the most famous American authors from um, modern literature is, of course, Ernest Hemingway. Ernest started writing early, and um, during his life, uh, he blamed his mother for his father's death, who committed suicide in 1928. And uh, Hemingway is said that it's a said about Hemingway that his macho image was a way to escape from his mother's dominance. And Hemingway was, of course, an outstanding student at high school, but instead of going to college, he became a reporter for the Kansas City Star in 1917. When the First World War broke out, Hemingway tried to enlist, but he was rejected because of a bad eye. Instead, he volunteered as an ambulance driver for the American Red Cross on the Italian front, where he was badly wounded. And the terrors that Hemingway experienced in the war created a fear of death that he attempted to come to terms with all his life. His fascination with violence and death is reflected in his stories about bullfighting, deep sea fishing, big game hunting and war. To Hemingway, death has a special value. In his view, feeling its nearness in moments of may, uh, danger makes us more intensely alive. And Hemingway was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1954, 
He was, uh, however, unable to attend the award ceremony because he was recovering from injuries he suffered in an airplane crash in Uganda. Hemingway's uh, drinking had started when he was a reporter, and towards the end of his life he suffered from hypertension, diabetes, and acute depression as a result of his um, heavily drinking. He feared physical decline and chose to commit suicide with his favorite shotgun at his home in Idaho in 1961. To finish off this uh, series of lectures, I just want to mention a few contemporary writers from um, English-speaking countries. From Canada, we have Margaret Atwood, who is a famous novelist and a poet. She writes many short stories and children's books, and she often writes about young women in search of an identity. And she's famous for novels such as Al Alias Grace and The Blind Assassin. We have, of course, uh, also from the U.S., John Steinbeck, whose greatest success was Grapes of Wrath, which came in 1939. It describes how a family from Oklahoma are driven to migrate to California, where they're mistreated and exploited. He's also famous for Of Mice and Men, among others, and Steinbeck was awarded the no Nobel Prize for Literature in 1962. Toni Morrison, who uh, she is the first black woman to win the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1991, she describes the life of African Americans and childhood memories from the South in books as, such as Sula, Solomon, and Beloved. Uh, Joyce Carol Oates, uh, she often recalls her class background, working class background in her fiction, and she's one of America's most outstanding writers. She's written more than 40 books, and she's often on the short list for the Nobel uh, Prize for Literature. And then uh, from the British Isles, we have William Golding, who served in the Navy during the Second World War. And he is first and most famous for his novel, uh, Lord of the Flies, which tells us how a group of English schoolboys tried to survive on a desert island after a plane crash. His books deal with the struggle between good and evil, and he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1983. And then we have Roddy Doyle, who is one of Ireland's most popular contemporary writers, and he writes about the ordinary lives of working and middle class in Dublin. And his first novel was The Commitments, also uh, made into film, and that was followed by The Snapper and The Van. We have from India Anita Desai, who is an Indian writer with a Bengali father and a German mother, and she writes about the struggle of women to find a place for themselves in Indian society. She also deals with Western stereotype views of India, and she's most famous for The Village by the Sea, where she describes uh, the conflict between rural life and industrial interests in India. And that finishes up this series of lectures about literature history.